Hey folks, just a Saturday. Just wanted to do a quick uh, video, and what I was really thinking about, um, I was thinking about this yesterday, and uh, did a quick water change. The thing I really wanted to talk about was how you can, how the plants adapt. And uh, by the way, this leaf right here in the middle, see how it's kind of a light green. It's actually. Uh, if you look back about a week, it's it's a small thin one right in there that was coming up, and I mean it's it's grown a tremendous amount in seven to ten days, and I'm tempted to go back and find an old clip and uh, just show you how much it's grown in, in a short time. But what I really wanted to focus on, and this is what I wanted to focus on. Uh, we all have plants that look different but it's the same plant and by that I mean uh, look at this plant right here see how sick that looks this thing just looks it looks like a haunted tree it's got roots hanging on it you see how long the roots are it doesn't look good the, the bottom one's got a little bit of green you can see where it's kind of wilted you know Dustin, Dustin does a great job of these there's some other people that have this growing really well this plant doesn't look good you know, I don't know. And Dustin kind of talked about it, you know, how some people grow, you know, different tanks grow different things. And uh, and who knows, maybe it's the plant. Or maybe it's, you know, I'm not doing something right. I don't know. It's a or a combination of all the above. But what I wanted to point out was um, this plant right here. And you can see it's starting to get more light now because I've tried to, clear this up up above it and notice how it's got a little bit of pink right in there one of the new new growth leaves has pink on it but notice this one this is the same plant and it's in it's in a higher light area it's got all kinds of pink right here right um, this plant down here in the back see the little green low light and it's more green you, you look at it right back here same plant that's the same plant back there that's got kind of the pinkish brown as it gets closer to highlight it it, it turns to pink and um, look at the water sprite see the water sprite back there it's really staying low and bushy and see the leaves on it all right look at this one same plant it's even a, it's even a cutting that that water sprite right there is a cut so i i, I try to keep it from crossing that board so I snipped some of it and, it and it had good roots on it so I planted it right in there low light right it's getting good root but notice it's starting to grow out more because it, it wants more light so so you can see how it's thinning out and the leaves are thinner on it so the, the one thing to keep in mind is you can almost look at the plant and see how it's adapting for the environment that it's in. And uh, I don't know, it's just something to keep in mind. Here's, an, here's another perfect example. All right, this, this whole area right here, and this area right here, these are banana plants. Kid you not. Now, I've never had a banana plant. Uh, well, this first, first dirt tank, right? So look, right here, see the root? That root is from that banana plant. It's digging down and hitting dirt. As soon as it started hitting dirt, it started doing lily pads. It was just like, it was almost like the plant said, you know, roots are great. I, I'm doing everything fine here. We don't even, we've got so much energy down here that we're getting from the roots. Let's go and see if we can't find a way to own this soil. And by own it, what I mean is, is, what it wants to do, what the plant wants to do, it doesn't want anybody else around here to grow into this dirt. So what does it do? It's like a large tree. If you go into the woods, a large tree, it steals all the sunlight, right? Because it's not going to worry about anybody getting enough energy to dig down and steal from its roots if it can't get light. So what does it do? It starts shooting lily pads. I've never had 
a banana plant shoot lily pads. So the swords are, you know, just kind of doing the same that swords usually do. And um, I don't know, it's just a thought. This, this wisteria, it grows like a weed. I'm always cutting that, pruning it back, cutting it. And then this dwarf baby tear, you know, I know a lot of people that have it. I, I promise this is dwarf baby tear. It, it doesn't, you know, the, the leaves on it look different. And, and maybe, who knows, maybe I bought dwarf and somebody sold me the large stuff. I don't know. But uh, you, you can see it crawling out. You can see the roots on it. Here you can see it's crawling out here. And if it doesn't dig down really good and get in the roots... The quarry cats will dig it all up, believe it or not. But the only point I'm getting at is, uh, you know, some of these plants, they just, it's like I see some people's tanks and I'm like, you know, that just looks great. Why, why is that plant doing so well in that tank? Why can't I get that result? And, 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 and a lot of it has to do with dirt and lighting and just balance overall. And, and maybe water hardness, right? But like if you see the, uh, See the reddish brown plant back there? I can't get it to grow. It's like turning into a bush. I I I, I can't get anything to you know fill the, fill that up that well. And and the same, my nubiuses are doing well. But like you know you you, you see this version here, and it's kind of the same plant. It's a little different color. And I'm not going to butcher the name if that pearl will get out of the way. But if you notice. I mean, it's, it, it looks kind of hideous, right? Leaves are melting on it. It doesn't have good growth, so you're, you're seeing more algae on it. And uh, it's just not doing that well, which is really kind of a bummer. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. But I, I just wanted to point out, you know, and then, and then you look at the lace plant, right? I mean, the leaves on this lace plant are ridiculous, I mean, literally, there are, some of these leaves are like two feet long. Uh, you know, well, close to it. But just the leaf part, not even the stem. I mean, I know people that have... Here, I'm going to turn this sideways just to give you a full, full view of that. And this tank is two feet deep. And I, and I probably got, I don't know, a good four or five inch substrate. But, uh, but you know, that's... That's a serious lace plant. So anyway, all right, I'm going to flip this back just so you guys see it. But just a thought on plants, and I just think it's weird how uh, you can take a plant, just like with the water sprite, right? Or like, like these right here, bad light. I realized it was bad light. I'm like, why doesn't that plant look like this plant? And I was like, oh, wait, pink tells me high light. It's not getting good light. So, I, you know, I, I clipped one of the lily pads and tried to give it some space up in here. And I didn't care about that as much because, you know, this doesn't really need that much light. And uh, the swords definitely don't because they're going to get a lot of their nutrients from the roots. But notice the water sprite. This thing is really starting to get viney. And, it, and it's wanting to reach out and get some more light. So it's, it's looking a lot prettier. Then the water sprite over here that I just thought would just do great in highlight. And one thing I've noticed, I've noticed some people that have really cool plants that are growing out and doing well. And they've got a bunch of plants on the top. You know, they've got the duckweed or something floating. So they're, it's almost like they have a lower light condition, which causes things to do well. I will tell you, people that have a lot of duckweed don't have that. You're, you're, if you have duckweed or anything still in light at the top, you don't have clear water and, and good high light, you're not going to get that. And uh, what's ironic is I, I focused so much on this and then I had a beard allergy problem and all kinds of fun stuff. But it's, it's you know, it's all about balance. But I just thought it was interesting. I would I just point out that, you know, I see some, uh, even Dustin, I, I noticed some people doing some amazing plant growth in low light. And uh, I'll have the same plant and it, doesn't grow near as well. And it, I think it's just a combination, just realizing how to get the plant to grow in the direction that you want. You know, if, uh, if you want it, if you want better stems, right? You want better stems, perfect example. 
See the stems on that banana plant? See how thick they are? That's totally because it has good roots. Uh, if you if you want the leaves to to crawl and do well, uh, high light, right? But if you want it to be viney and reach for the light, I don't know. I, I'm not sure I got all this figured out. But you guys, curious what everybody thinks? Something I've been trying to get my mind around lately, and because uh, it just never fails, right? You get a new plant, you see a plant in the store, you see a plant online, and you're like, you know, I really, and you get it. And they they farm raised it. It's injected with CO2, all kinds of water fertilizers, and they're probably growing it in you know sunlight somewhere in you know Cuba or Florida, who knows where. And a lot of the dwarf baby tear actually comes from Cuba, but the uh, or at least that's what I've seen. But but I just think it's interesting how when you add it to your plant, not only does it you know not tend to melt or do weird things. But it might look completely different. You know, it might go from being tall and long to, you know, short and bushy. Uh, just the weirdest stuff. And, and I, and I got to admit, you know, if you want to talk about a metamorphosis, right, this banana plant, I've never had a banana plant do this. So it looks completely different from what you're used to seeing in the store. So just a, just a thought. And uh, anyway, just wrapping this up. Hope everybody's having a good Saturday. And uh, you guys take care. See ya.